Sneak peek. Hey guys, welcome back to Fort Moore. I'll put that visual up back here in a little bit. I'm actually going to put it up uh, quicker than normal. But let's go ahead and talk about Fu. The basic on this guy. He's been, I'm going to tell you right off the bat, guys. He's speed and potency. It's directly speed and potency. Any extra crit chance, crit damage, which we'll get into, is good too. But he's about speed and potency. The faster he is, the better your team's going to be. Deal physical damage on his basic to target enemy. This attack has plus 20% critical damage. If an ally has advantage, this attack is a guaranteed critical hit, which is funny because advantage, if applicable, guarantees the next attack for somebody to have a critical hit. So he's basically getting, giving advantage to someone else and then guaranteeing himself basically that he's got advantage even though he doesn't have it. It's kind of weird. All right, marching orders. Target other ally gains 100% turn meter. So this is where he swaps over, gives somebody 100% turn meter and advantage for two turns. So now he's given advantage to another character, which now guarantees his basic is going to be a crit on the next turn. If that's the order you get to use it in. If that ally is first order, they also gain offense up for three turns to spell all deep ups from the first order officer and a target ally. So you can target anybody you want to remove the debuffs and grant them both tenacity up for two turns. And then my favorite one on this guy, Greedo-esque. Deal physical damage to target enemy and remove 50% turn meter. That means you need potency. If any turn meter is removed this way, each ally of Foos gains 15% turn meter. All first order allies have their cooldowns reduced by one. By far my favorite ability, you are removing turn meter passing turn meter to all of your allies you cannot ask for more than that that's greedo and imp trooper esque right there all right when you start talking about him with his uh relic amplifiers you're you are looking at of course you got mastery you got health you got critical damage so you see that 7.5 percent that's where he's at at relic five i'll show you that in just a second remember that 7.5 damage critical chance he gains a lot of critical chance on this guy a lot 21.21 percent dodge chance is great and then, of course, you've got your regular damage and resistance, deflection. But if you look over here, I've got no additional critical damage on him. But there's that extra uh, 7.5. So he's at 157.5 right now. His potency is 78%. I'd prefer to have it higher, and I'll show you why I didn't do it. And then he's got critical chance sitting at 89.45. So I want his crit chance and his crit damage, if possible. The only reason I do not have potency mods instead of health mods is because these health mods are fast. I've got an 18 on the square, <clears throat> and I got, I believe, a 22 on the diamond. So I could not sacrifice that speed. I'm currently running him 277. And to be honest with you, I'd like to have him faster. I've got speed mods on him. This one's only a seven. I need to improve that one for sure. Uh, protection, as you'll see right here. And then the arrow, we've got speed, of course. That's the number one, but I wanted potency on there. So that's the number one thing I got on there, plus crit chance is a bonus i got potency again here this is a crit chance one i would actually prefer to have crit damage on here since he's got uh criticals but i could not i only have three crit damage triangles with a speed set right now and then potency of course 100 has to be a cross and this is where i'm dying because i only got a 10 speed cross but speed mods are hard to come by he was not my priority so i did not go that route let me show you guys the visual real quick as you'll see here i've got offense on the square defense on the, the diamond Health or protection is fine on the circle. You've got speed on the arrow. You can do crit chance, crit damage, or protection on the triangle. And then 100%, you got to have potency on that cross, especially for that last ability. I do highly recommend speed with potency if you can get him over 280. If not, you got to go for survivability. Go with the speed set with health. That works as well. And you'll see the secondary priority there. You've got uh, for the secondary speed, potency, Protection, health, offense, and crit chance, pretty much in that order. You can put anything on him. It's no big deal, but those are the priority that you're going to want. His minimum speed, like I said, 270, 280. The faster he is, he can pass Terminator to somebody else, so that's an amazing move. His relic priority, I put him in a 9, and that's why I put him in a 9. I'd have him at a 10 because of his new ship, the Echelon. If you can get the ship and you're working on Slacker, it is a great capital ship. The First Order team has taken out a lot of meta now. It's taken out... The executor it's taken out the negotiator so it does really good work so i highly rec uh, recommend it uh he does not carry a zeta which is nice for this character but he's not also a not until now he rose in really high priority so uh, and again like i said he's potency speed survivability so he can remove term meter pass support abilities and again has a great ship so 
go ahead there and get that guy in the meantime another short modding videos if you got any comments questions drop them below super easy to mod you guys are awesome we are one battalion strong we are one battalion strong